about this too long, I'm going to have to run back down there. So, uh, <laughs> hit it. <laughs> Millions of years ago, life was blossoming anew on Earth. The great apes had driven to a new species, Homo sapiens. Now, this species had almost no abilities, no speed, no claws or teeth, no fur to keep them warm, or even smell to alert them to nearby predators. But they still survived. The forests of Africa were disappearing, and the apes had to travel many miles on foot, and eventually they just used their legs. No other species had free hands. They could now pick berries and punch things, and so much more. These, but this isn't even the biggest ability they gained. Not by far. Planning. This species gained the mental capacity to communicate. Communication led to bigger groups, which led to bigger hunts. Eventually, this species learned from looking at plants how to farm. They survived because of their intellect, and the snowball kept rolling to this day. But the problem is, in the modern world, humans aren't getting the opportunity to use these skills as their ancestors did. In schools, people have to write the same essays and read the same book. They can't be creative. Creativity is essential for mind growth. Our brains are naturally creative, but we don't put that to use. We just conform and do what everybody else is doing. That's why creativity is dying. Because nobody wants to be creative. Many people are trying to change this and have helped me grow and be more creative. <laughs> One such person is Sir Ken Robinson. He's been advocating for creativity for years. You may have heard of him. <laughs> he does TED Talks. He was a professor in arts education for 12 years and now just talks worldwide to help spread creativity in schools and workplaces. He's helped me grow as a student, as a person, and as a human being. I had the privilege of seeing one of his talks right here at MSU. I was very tired as I had been doing a theater show not half an hour before, but I was determined to see him. Sir Ken Robinson gave me a lot to think about. That night I was in bed for hours thinking about his words. He really inspired me not to be afraid to be creative. Another person who has helped me, who has helped me tap into my creativity creative potential is Stacy Hostetter. She's my drama instructor at Kaleidoscope Youth Theater. I made mistakes, but she was there for me, and that's really great. Thanks to her, I learned to sing, dance, and act, and I owe so much to her. My friends at Kaleidoscope have also been awesome, helping me when I need the help learning a new aspect of theater. Without them, I wouldn't be where I am today. They have always been there for me, and for that I am grateful. This is a pretty funny picture. This was a Christmas show we did uh, last year. It was, man, it seems like so long ago. <laughs> Finally, Mr. Zuzalak, my sixth grade ELA teacher who insisted he only go by Mr. Zuzalak. I owe a lot to him. Without Mr. Zuzalak, I wouldn't have opened my eyes on the problem with creativity in schools. Mr. Zuzalak was certainly no ordinary teacher, in a good way. He helped us with what we wanted to do. Mr. Zuzalak led us to our own mini pachachkas. They were the same, only ten slides. I was ecstatic at actually knowing what a pachachka was and how to pronounce its name, I think. He told us how to draw presentations and then just said, get a computer and get to work. And it was, it was interesting, I'll say that. Everybody had lots of fun making theirs, but naturally I tried to come up with the best presentation idea. This three minute, 20 second presentation mattered so much to me. But every time I started working, I would scrap the idea as it was inferior, and I could probably come up with something better. I ended up spending most of my time just thinking of a good idea. Everybody had lots of fun making theirs. Some people did sports that they liked, some people did random funny things. My friend Owen did a presentation on conspiracy theories, which brought out a lot of laughs, let me tell you. <laughs> Overall, it was challenging, but an interesting experience for everyone. We learned a lot. Some people struggle with creativity. They want to draw or sing or dance, but just seem to not be able to. I'd like to consider myself a good artist, but <laughs> I certainly didn't start like that. But it was because every day I drew. I thought about becoming an artist, and I worked towards that dream really hard. It certainly didn't happen instantly, though. This is some of my earliest art, and because it is so bad, we are legally required to blur it out. <laughs> I loved drawing bloody war-torn scenes 
scenes of violence, and this soldier is a prime example. My mom thought it was Robin Hood. <laughs> but the point is, nobody simply masters a skill. I tried, and I tried, and I think it paid off. I could actually do something better than other kids, and at my age, that was amazing. I felt like a king. This drawing is of the Blues Brothers. I loved the movie, and so did my dad. So for his birthday, I gave him this. I really felt proud of my work and saw how far I'd come. There are two main barriers between you and reaching your creative dreams. The first one is motivation. If you want to be creative, then be creative. You can't just become an artist just by thinking about becoming an artist. You have to work hard on your skill and master it, and then you will reach that level. The other main barrier is not setting enough time aside to practice. I know it seems like something small, but it really matters. People's days get busy super fast in the modern world, and if they're running a lap or reading a book or taking a nap, then they can't practice their skill and grow. And that's why it's one of the main barriers. The point is, anyone can be creative. They just have to work hard towards their dreams. You can sing, dance, or play an instrument, all you have to do is sing, dance, or play an instrument. And if you do it enough, you'll be good at it. You just have to know what you want and work towards it. We were put here for a reason. I don't know what that reason is, but it certainly isn't to conform and just be a great mass of humanity. It's to splash a little color in your life. Tomorrow's a new day. What will you do with it? Woo!